and I'm live. It didn't take as long to go live today as it did yesterday. Yesterday took ages to get on. Um, it's still quite early. It's only 20 to 11 on a Sunday morning. So I don't know if anybody's going to join me for this live stream. Whether I'm going to sit here and talk to myself, which is entirely possible. As I've said before, I'm kind of used to chatting to myself, so it won't bother me. I, as I've said before, I'm prefer kind of used to chat to myself. So turn the sign on. on. There we go. I prefer to do a haul as a live stream because I don't have to edit it. It just goes straight out. It's just a lot less work. Lazy. Keep telling people I'm lazy. Good morning, Fake Rachel. How are you this morning? And good morning, Maria Clark. So yeah, laziness, pure laziness. Let's do a live stream and then I won't have to do any editing. And Alison from Al's Attic is in. Hello again, Alison. How are you? Hope you're all well. I've, pulled, I've put it all out of reach. Good morning, Sally Kelly. Let me just stretch over. Why do I do this? Why do I put things where I can't bloody reach them? Honestly. If brains were spaghetti, I'd have a very small portion. Ah, there we go. Uh, Lady Lol is off to the beach. Good Lord, I hope it's warm where you are because it's flipping freezing here. And Lisa Woo Well is in. Good morning, Lisa Woo Well. Get me with the Woo Wells. I know how to pronounce it now. <laughs> so yeah, Lady Lolly's off to the beach. Lady Lolly, are you in like Florida or somewhere nice? Because um, the nearest beach to me is Western Supermare. Nobody's going there this morning, I promise you. People with their dogs, maybe. So I have... I have a small car boot stream. Now, good morning, Phoebe. Good morning, Carrie. Yesterday, I did my live car boot stream from yesterday's car boot sale, and Polishek commented in the middle of the night, actually kept me awake. Good morning, Frida. Um, actually kept me awake. Good morning, Lisa Marie. He commented that um, that I was negative about the things that I bought. He said, I don't, I don't understand why I say things have uh, that won't things that won't sell. Good morning, Andrea Turner. Um, and I was kind of like, do I say that? So at one o'clock this morning, I watched the whole video back, all half an hour of it, watched myself blethering at 1am. And the only thing I said I didn't think would sell was the, the book that had the damage. So Polishek, I'm, I'm, if I tell you, if I say that I don't think that things have a lot of resale value, I'm not saying they won't sell. I'm saying that I'm not making my millions off this. This is bread and butter stuff. So maybe you're mistaken when I'm saying, oh, there's not a lot of resale value in that. Maybe you're mistaking that I'm dismissing it as not worth selling at all. I'm not doing that at all. I'm just saying, you know, I'm kind of pointing out that this is not necessarily a bolo. Don't go rushing out to buy this just because I bought one because it's not necessarily going to make millions. State of my hair this morning. Good morning, girly whirly. So I have another random assortment of stuff this morning. Um, I have also discovered that the big car boot sale, which I thought was finished, is not finished and I have missed it today because by the time we found out it was still on, I was sitting in the car and eating an all-you-can-eat breakfast and after an all-you-can-eat breakfast, nobody wants to go back to the boot sale. So I've missed the big one. Oh well. What can you do? First up then, this is Jack Wills. Um, boyfriend fit sure i'm doing really well with jack wills stuff at the moment i don't know if anybody for anyone who doesn't know the label it looks like that i'm sure you all know jack wills boyfriend fit check shirt that'll be nice for the cooler weather good morning elaine um she says good morning carla caught you live at last watching while i'm out shopping watching while i oh put shopping away that the husband hubby's just been out for sorry it's me being stupid um yeah jack wills stuff doing really well so they wanted a pack they wanted two pound i offered them one and they said yes so quid for a Jack Will shirt. Lots of resale value there, Polishek. Very happy with that one. <laughs> Not sure why I'm shouting. I bought, um, during the night I didn't buy, I was given a headset with a microphone and I don't think it makes any difference. So maybe the next live stream I'll do, maybe I'll connect it halfway and you guys can tell me if you think it makes any difference to the sound quality or not because I can hear that I am sitting here hollering into the microphone for the phone. I don't know. Maybe that would only make a difference when I'm on the PC because I can't plug it into... I'm being a dick. Ignore me being an idiot. Although quite why you would tune into somebody's live stream just to ignore them. If anybody's guess, turn your back, don't watch me. <laughs> um, a couple of scarves this morning. This one is 100% silk. It's not branded, but it's a 100% silk scarf. And I just thought they were 50p. So for 50p for, 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 for a silk scarf. Good morning, Lucy. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you pay? I think I think that will sell well, I think. I'm going to say that all the time now. And this one was also 50p. And I thought... Uh, Rachel, you might, may, may, Rachel might know the answer to this one. Good morning, Supercat, who says I always manage to make you smile. I do my best. Rachel, would you say that was an accessorised logo? 
I thought it might be accessorise. I might be wrong. But um, it's the only label that's on the whole scarf. But again, 50p. 50p. Sally Kelly put my teeth in. Yeah, I've just cleaned my teeth, actually. I'm all minty fresh. <laughs> I had to clean my teeth. I had all you can eat breakfast stuck in them. You don't need to know that, do you? Dear God, what have, what have you, why have you people tuned in to watch me tell you about what gets stuck in my teeth? Why have you done that? Elaine says she started to buy and sell a lot of scarves, especially silk. They do go well. Rachel doesn't know the label. If anybody else... Uh, no, I think they're just scarves, Lucy. I don't think they're so wrong. I think they're just scarves. But, uh, you know, the big scarves are in now and they loop it round and tighten a knot and stick it across your face and go and do a petrol drive-off or something. <laughs> Maybe I'm showing my age. Do people still do petrol drive-offs? Good morning, Janet Plant. Um, clothing, 50p each. Uh, one gentleman said all his clothing was 50p, so I picked up this. This is Alex & Co., this is a brand that I've seen but not really bought before, but I think it's it's reasonable quality. It feels nice. This one I'm pretty sure is 100% linen, but I do turn, yeah 100% linen. So 100% linen jacket there from Alex and Co. Lisa Marie's petrol drive off. Um, when in my, in my youth the bad lads would go to the petrol station and fill up the tank and then drive away and they would have a scarf over their face so that the CCTV wouldn't recognise them and a scarf over the number plate and everything and they would drive off with a full tank of petrol and not pay so it was called a petrol drive off and I would like to point out that the reason I know this is not because I was a bad lad or a bad lad's girlfriend but because I worked in a petrol station so we had to watch out for them so if anybody came in even onto the forecourt with a scarf pulled up over their nose and where you were like ah I've got my eye on you ah. <laughs> um, also 50p and also Alex and Co this is linen again, and this is fully lined, this one. Nice linen skirt. This one's a 14, the other one was an 18. But yeah, 100% linen. Very pretty, I thought, this one. So, um, yeah, for 50p, there's bound to be resale value in there. I think they will sell well. And also 50p, this is a Laura Ashley Petite. Now, I think that's quite an old Laura Ashley label. I think it's a vintage label, although I'm not sure. But yeah, Laura Ashley Petite skirt. There we go. Dotty skirt. So I think that will sell well. How long before you people get bored of hearing me say, I think that will sell well. The dogs have just come in, so Buddy will be prancing up the stairs anyway. And whenever he comes in from a walk, he has to run upstairs and make sure that all the people he left in the house are still where he left them. So he's going to prove me wrong now and not come up. No, here he comes. Can you hear the footsteps? Hiya, Buddy. Hello, mate. You all right? Yeah, he's come, he comes in, looks at me. And then off he goes again. Breakfast time now. Yeah, he's gone off his breakfast now. But he has to do a, a quick round up and make sure everybody's where he left them. Otherwise he gets in a terrible flap. If anybody goes out while he's out, he, he can't cope with that at all. Good morning, Karen. No crafts, just more. Unusual name. You used to be Karen Crafts and more. I don't know what happened to the crafts. Did somebody decraft you? This one is uh, Lisa Marie. How much do silk scarves go for? I will list that at probably seven or eight quid and probably put best offer on it because I paid 50p so you know I'm not um I'm not bothered as long as I get some profit on it but um whoever it was further up the chat Elaine says she sells a lot of silk scarves perhaps she'll be able to answer that for you oh Karen sold all her craft she was pig sick of it now she's purely purely reselling this I, I only picked it up because instead of it being 50p an item it was two items for a pound so I was looking for something to make my other my, my make up my pound and it's just a Dorothy Perkins um all in one what the heck do they call these things? Jumpsuits? Trouser suit? Yeah, jump, jumpy, trousery, suity things. So I think it's unpleasant, but for 50p, I expect it will sell well. Um, Carrie says she might need to find my eBay shop. Carrie, if you um, send me an email to carla.jenkins at live.co.uk, I will send you a link to my shop, no problem. Yeah, everybody's saying play suit, jumpsuit. Yeah, absolutely. This bag, oh, let me show you what's it, can I put stuff in the bag to bring it upstairs? These books were a pound for the five, and they are classic Richmond Crompton William books. Do you remember William, William, just William? The original bad boy. Um, somebody's coloured in some of the illustrations, which is something we always used to do when I was a kid as well, uh, colouring colour in the, the line drawings. I might read these myself before selling them on, just to relive my youth a bit. But they were nice, and the lady wanted a pound for all five of them. And William's always popular, and hard, hard, hard is it hardcore, hardcore William, hardback William will also be popular. <laughs> 
Uh, Maria Clark says, I only look on clothes on rails at boot sales. I don't mind running to the... I, I feel very much the same. I, I, I seem to be getting a, quite a bad pixelation on the screen. I'm sorry about that. The internet's not great. I, I don't like massive piles of stuff on the floor. And you do often find that the stuff in there is, is damaged in some way. And I'm not very bendy. I'm old and fat and I don't bend very well. So I prefer it. But if it's on a rail, it's usually higher priced. The stuff on the floor you usually find is like 50p or a pound. And the stuff on the rails, they're, they're bumping up the prices. So... Uh, Karen's got her daughter watching Barbie DVDs at the moment she'll be selling tomorrow. Reselling Polly has joined us. Good morning. Lisa Marie, what do classic books go for? How long's a piece of string, Lisa? It depends on what they are. Um, these are, because they're William and they will be popular because people remember them from their childhood and they're in fairly good condition, although there are no dust covers, I will probably put those on at 20 quid or near off when I paid a pound. So. Hard, Al Al Alison, hardcore, yeah, that's my Anne Summer's Day showing through, yeah. 50p for a little sea salt jute shopping bag. That'll go on for five or six pounds. They, they sell quite well. People like sea salt. Bit of a leap into the unknown for me. This is a... I believe it's a squash racket because it has a short handle. If anybody knows better, I'm quite willing to be um, corrected. It's covered in garage, garage dust, you know, bits of specks of rubbish and whatever. But the racket itself seems to be in good condition. And it was a Wilson, which I think is a known brand. And it was a pound, and I just thought, let's take a leap into the unknown for a change. That's really pixelated, isn't it? I don't know why that's um I don't know quite why I look like I've I'm I've I've been committing a crime. Apologise for that. I promise I haven't committed any crime. Polly picked up 14 monster high dolls this morning. I hope you do well with yours. My my offer from yesterday never came back, so Yeah, so I presume she didn't want to pay more than more than the hundred. In fairness, the hundred was a fairly good offer, but I just thought I'd hold out. I've only put them on a couple of days ago, so there might be there might be more in it. And if you decline an offer, or if you counter and they don't answer, you can always message them at a later date. It's nice saying bad connection. You can always message them at a later date and say, oh, I've reconsidered your offer, and if you'd like to send me the same offer again, I'd be willing to take it. That's worked for me several times. So never say never. I bought a Packamac. This was in the two for a pound, so when I bought the trouser suit thing, this was the other thing and just because it's that season these, these are the, ma the Macs that pack down into their own pocket somewhere and it's that season isn't it, when people want a, this kind of thing that they can put into their um, handbag and take with them for when it chucks down. I've gone pixelated again. It's Sunday morning unless half the neighbours are on my internet I don't know why it's so rubbish. Supercat says her used clothing sales have dropped um, it's the time of year. The, the sales on clothing will drop during quarter four because it's the time when people start buying. Good morning, OB2 Jason. This is the time of year when people start buying for others rather than themselves. You tend not to buy used clothing as a gift for others for Christmas. People tend not to give you secondhand clothing at Christmas unless you're perhaps a very planet conscious family i know i mean i know there are people who they only give used gifts or recycled gifts i know that but you know as a general rule um i've lost my thread sorry as a general rule your secondhand clothing sales will drop towards christmas because that's not what people are focusing on spending their money on but it it'll tick on through i'll, it, you know, I'll hang on to it. It'll, it it'll sell eventually everything sells eventually i got a full set of six of the ina blight and mallory towers books um for two pounds this was my regular car boot guy who was not playing nicely today. I said to him, I want to give you a pound. And he said, oh, no, I want more than that. So um, full set of six of those. Again, they will they will sell to somebody who wants to relive their youth. Nice to have all six in, in the same bindings, you know. I loved Mallory Towers. I wanted to go to Mallory Towers because they had the rock pool swimming pool outside whereas St Clarice didn't have that you know Mallory Towers was on the beach and they had the rock swimming pool and and I really wanted to get not that I was a particularly good swimmer I don't know why I was so keen on the idea but I got a Betty Boop alarm clock and I'm a bit worried because there's a big old rattle inside so something's obviously rolling around loose in there so I might have to take the back off and see see what's going on but it was a pound Betty Boop is very very popular um so hopefully that might and it's in good condition apart from the rattle so as long as i can find out what it is that's inside there shaking around that should sell okay and whilst on alarm clocks i bought this this is a vintage 1980s pyramid talking alarm clock i bought it 
because it had its box and I thought that was unusual but it's not it's certainly not new um it has been used but it is oh it's the most 80s thing you ever did see it took me ages to get it in the flipping polystyrene as well I'm still like a and we're back <laughs> sorry about that it just it just randomly went at least I think I'm back I'm back on the phone I'm just not back on the screen yet there we go I'm back so as I was saying I hope that's not nicotine discoloration it doesn't smell um cigarette -y. it's just really yellowed so who knows but it certainly would have been white originally I think so now it's now it's very 70s brown <laughs> it was two quid it was two quid I'm sure it will sell well midnight feasts on the dorm yes Elaine they used to have um tuck boxes from home didn't they for them and there was the night they cooked sausages i think that might have been sinclair's that cooked sausages and woke up yeah it was sinclair's because they woke up mamzelle do you see the things you remember i got a flight simulator now i've sold these before some of them have quite a good value on them and i can't i can't remember if this is the one that does or not but um if it was 50p so i thought i would take my chances it's got its booklet in there and everything like and, and yeah i've sold one before that went for like 16 quid but i don't know if it was that one 50p also 50p i'm quite excited about this because this is like a step from my childhood a roughneck flask mine had snoopy on it i had a snoopy one this one is i think this must have said originally miss petticoat it just says miss petticoat no I think it must have been Miss, Miss Petticoat originally. Yeah. But yeah, Roughneck Flask. Proper blast for the past there. Do you remember this bit? This one, I'm very lucky this one hasn't been chewed, but we used to chew that. Good one. Am I back? I think I'm back. Oh yeah, now you get to see me typing the word stupid internet. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, so Miss Petticoat, I'm presuming she would be then if it was Petticoats and Pantaloons. Yeah, so um, there must be some resale value. I don't know how much. It needs a bit of a clean up. It's, you know, it's grubby. Still got its original shop. I know we used to peel those off, that bit. So I'm surprised that's still on there. But somebody will want that. Nostalgia value. And then I got this. This was... I said to the lady, how much is that? And I'm sure she said 15. And I must have looked at her as though she'd just landed because then she said 150. So maybe I misheard her in the first place or maybe she was puzzled while I was looking. It's a massive, massive box of loom bands. No, it's not. That's a lie. Hammer beads. Don't listen to me. I tell lies. Massive box of hammer beads. You watch me open it upside down and they'll all fall out. I'm going to try and turn it very, very carefully. <laughs> So can you see all the beads are in there and the shapes are in there and then she's got all these little jars of other beads, colour beads and all the rest of it. Hammer beads sell really well. Also with it was this little bag and this little pot. Hammer beads sell really, really well. So yeah, that was I was pleased with that. Especially for £1.50. I would not have been quite as pleased with it for 15 quid, which is what I thought she said in the first place. But I think I must be hearing things. Right. If that falls now and the lid comes up, my daughter, when she was little, had um, a massive box of armor beads. Huge, one of the really huge tubs with thousands and thousands in. And she was walking downstairs, aged about five one day, walking downstairs. And at this point we had wooden stair treads with little carpet strips in the centre so that you had something soft to walk on. And all I heard was this this awful confetti style crash as she dropped this enormous box of hammer beads down these wooden stairs and they just waterfalled their way <laughs> down the stairs and everywhere we were picking up hammer beads for months months <laughs> uh i got a lemony snicket number 13 50p it has been a bit scribbled in unfortunately i do wish people would control their children and not let them scribble in books this is the second one in two days but um what can you do? What can you do? Am I losing it again? I'm getting bad signal, bad signal again. This is stupid. I'm nearly done. Nobody said anything for about five minutes. Have you all gone home? Am I now not streaming and everybody's gone home and stopped watching? This is... I was quite, this is the first thing I bought and I paid... 2 50 I think. No, £2. 
She wanted three. I offered her two. You are all still there. I don't know if it's got resale value or not, really. Sorry, Polishek. I'm sounding very negative. I'm sure it's got some resale value, especially coming up to Christmas. It is a Ted Baker toiletry bag. And inside were the hand cream, the bath foam, and the body souffle. All unused, all in the, in the in the really nice. I thought the toiletry bag itself was quite nice. So um, yeah, I'm sure there's resale value in there. I paid two. I'm pretty sure I paid two pounds. I did pay two pounds. I really did. My pile's going to come crashing down any second. And another guy paid two pounds for. It. It was a Brabantia iron store thing. So so you put you hang your you put your iron on hang your iron and blah blah. Brabantia stuff always sells quite well. Al's Arctic says she'd guess £12. Is that on my Ted Baker toiletries? That would be nice, wouldn't it? 10 quid clear profit. That'd be lovely. Yeah. So Brabantia always sells quite well. Negative Carla, they call you now. That's me. That's my name. Negative Carla. <laughs> I was really puzzled. I was kind of like... Like I said, he said, um, you know, it's, it's very negative for you to say nothing will sell. I, thought, I don't think I have said it won't sell. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it. And this is one o'clock in the morning and I lay awake. Lay awake worrying. In the end, I just watched the video <laughs> and answered. And there we go. So there we go. Brabantia. I don't know the re resale value of that, but Brabantia stuff I've always done well with and it's brand new in its box. Always done well with it. Expensive stuff. And this, which is a bit of a unusual reach for me, this is a rug kit um and that should it should have a picture on the front and that's gone missing but it's a, it makes a it makes a putty cat look there we go it makes a little putty cat latch hook rug rug thing rug hatch hatch, hatch look rug bleh, bleh, bleh. all the stuff's in there it's all unused if i peer you in the top you can see it's all still in its packaging pre-cut yarn strips which would make making a rug much easier it has to be said and i don't know I, I have no idea what the value is but the lady wanted one pound and i thought i will buy that for one pound and see if i can sell it it will be interesting people buy crafts don't they and especially at um at this time of year you know people might people might buy that for a gift even though it's not in brand new condition and I think, oh, I've got two more items. One's fallen out over there. I got another lemony snicket. Again, I think, I think it was 50p. Really? £30 for a rug hook kit? That's really good. 8pm in Australia. I'm surprised you're up, new collector, after you had such a late night the night before. But yeah, another lemony snicket. This, I think it was 50p. It won't have been more than 50p. Lisa Fenn, thought I'd pop in and say hello. She's lazy about it in her pyjamas thinking about doing some more sewing. Sundays are for pyjamas if you're not car booting, aren't they? Sorry, I've knocked over everything. I told you I would. The last thing. Oh. Bad connection again. This is the last thing I bought. Well, it's, it's not I didn't buy it last, but it's the last thing I've got to show you. And this is a total leap into the unknown for me. But I paid £2. And it is a Baby Care Tens kit. So you've got your your little pain relief tens machine in there. There's a square battery in there to go with it. There's a I think this is your handset that you press to to zap yourself with. I know nothing about this. It's com it's a complete complete mystery to me. Um, self self adhesive electrodes. It's terrifying, really. <laughs> There's a set of wires in there, and the chap said to me. I don't know if these wires are meant to go with it, but they were in the bottom of a box. When I pulled this out of the box, this was in the bottom, and I thought, just in case they're meant to go in there, I'll put them in. So I need to check through the um, instructions and find out if these are... Because there's other wires there as well. So, yeah. Total unknown. I have no idea of, of resale on it, but it was £2, and I thought I would give it a try. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm dropping everything. I'm going to get two quid back, aren't they, even if nothing else? I have no idea. Very excited about 30 quid for that rug hook cake. That would be good, wouldn't it? That would be fab. Um, I think those might be wires that go with it. I think he was right. It's all, all very... Um, yeah, all, all very complicated. I don't know. No idea. Complete bloody mystery to me. But for £2. 
Sometimes I like to take a step out into the unknown and buy something that I wouldn't normally buy. Lisa Fenn says she used one of those when she was pregnant with her youngest. It was brilliant. Okay, so when you say one of these, was it just a general TENS machine? and Or was it this particular brand, Lisa? Because what I'm trying to establish is whether these wires are actually for this kit. Because the gentleman wasn't sure and he put them in just in case. They've got kind of little... I'm, I'm assuming they are. They've got little prongy bits. I'm, just, I'm assuming they go with it. If anybody knows... If not, but I mean, I'll go and do my research on this and there will, there will be somewhere there will be a list of contents that should be in your bag or whatever and and I will find out that way round. Ah, the wires do go with it. Thank you, Lisa. That's great. Yeah, so that's that's it. That's today's haul. Um, I missed the big car boot sale, which I'm kicking myself about, really. I could go now. I haven't really got the energy or the inclination or much money left and I've got to be at my parents for lunch in a couple of hours and I've got to drop my daughter at work and I'm not going now. I don't know. I'm kidding. So, <laughs> but what with yesterday's car boot sale haul as well, one end attaches to the unit, the other end attaches to the pads. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I just have never used this kind of thing. I, don't, I would have, I would have quite liked one. I had a whole labour with my um with my first. I was seventeen when I had my first child, and my mother, wanting to spare me of any kind of fear, had said to me that it doesn't really hurt, which I, I appreciate her. I appreciate her thought behind that, but I think it would have been fairer to me to tell me that it does flipping hurt. And I had a really, really unsympathetic midwife who said to me, don't be silly, it can't possibly hurt that much, which at 17 I was then terrified and it did hurt that much. And it was a 46 hour labour, by the end of which I'd kind of gone off the idea of having a child at all. I said, like, no, no, just go home and stay pregnant. I don't want to do this. So, um, so yeah, I could have done with the TENS machine. I don't know why I'm telling you about my labour stories. My second label was much better. My mother came in with me and prayed throughout. That was great. Um, Carrie says she spent too much today. She's trying to make the most of the last boot sales. I think that's it. You get my my boot sale carries on. I'm very lucky. It carries on all the way through through the year. Um, but of course, it will get less fruitful as you go into the winter months. There are less homeowners who are doing. Not, not homeowners, let less civilians, so to speak, who are doing are just doing a store to clear out their stuff and more traders. And obviously it's the civilians that, that you get your best bargains from. They're the ones with the best prices. They're the ones with the most profit. The traders are, have already bought it from somebody else and are trying to make a bit of profit. So, so yeah, as, as we go further on, it will get less fruitful and it does make you feel that you need to rush out and buy everything you can find really, really quickly. But I've I've got I've done quite a lot of charity shop shopping this week. I've done two car boot sales. I've got a massive pile here. I've got a big pile here to to list, and I've still got several bags in the loft from the charity shop haul that I got of toys, which need dealing. I've still got sitting on my desk these littlest pet shops. These are the good ones. These are the ones that are worth a few bob, and they're still sitting here unlisted. What am I doing? Why am I not listing? Sourcing is definitely the most fun part, isn't it? Buying it is the most fun part taking the money after you've sold it is the fun part it's all the bit in between the buying it and the getting the money that's not quite so much fun which is the bit that we actually call work but he's off to see what's going on downstairs so i don't know what everybody else is doing with their sunday i've got to go to my parents for lunch i say got to i've been invited to my parents for lunch that sounds really nice gotta to go to my parents i'm going to my parents for lunch we're having roast lamb i'm looking i went again i think i'm back Carrie says they never seem to have any great deals. It says outer, but I presume your phone corrected that from from out to outer or something. In in our charity shops, I don't know. I don't know where you are, Carrie. Are you um, which bit of the country are you in? Ro roast lamb is Lisa. It's my favourite as well. I really like roast lamb. <laughs> um, Maria doesn't like packaging. I I don't. Some stuff's easy. I mean, like all my clothes, as as I think you, I may have said before, all my clothes stored like that. That will just slide into a mailer and and be gone. It's ceramics i've got to pack this today i'm very pleased with this i paid under a pound because i got it in filler bag for a pound um a couple of weeks ago and i've sold it 15 quid so i'm really really pleased about that but packing it is going to be a nightmare isn't it carries in torbay yeah you're in that kind of bit of the country where people think everybody's got a load of money aren't you in that you know the, the english riviera where everybody th people think everyone's rich so your charity shops will be steep diana hughes says she's just caught us hello hi diana so yeah, packaging, not so much fun. Not looking forward to packing this. This is the Yardley jar, Lisa. Yeah, like I said, fill a bag for a pound. 
So I've, I've, I've got four or five things in that bag. So if you call it 20p, maybe 25p, 15 quid. And I wasn't sure whether it would sell. Do you remember? I was like, kind of like, oh, well, I don't know. It's, we'll stick it on. We'll try it. It's the one that's um, by appointment to the Queen Mother. Bless her. I like the Queen Mum. It is quite pretty. It is. I like sweet peas. Yeah. When I first got it, I was like, oh, I don't think I like it. But it's grown on me a bit. I've been sat there waiting to be packed for two days. That's why it's grown on me. <laughs> I must pack it. Lots of what? Lots and lots of packaging. Hermes have been trampling up and down. Like, now, Lisa, Lisa, don't, don't go. Don't, Lisa, calm down. But Hermes have very much been trampling up and down on my ceramics over the last two weeks. So that's going to be packed. But it starts off this size. And by the time I finish packaging, it's going to be like this. It's going to be huge. <laughs> and then they can kick it around as much as they want. So, yeah, that's that's my haul. <laughs> I've set Lisa off. Lisa, down, down, girl, down, sit. <laughs> yeah, that, that's my haul for today. That's my plans for today. Um, I'm sorry if I'm bomb bombarding you guys a bit with too many live streams, but as I say, as I said at the beginning, I'd rather live stream because I don't have to edit it and I don't have to upload it, it just because it goes on straight away, whereas the uploading process at my end seems to take forever and a day, probably because I've got such a rubbish connection. So, um, so yeah, it's easier for me to live stream. And if you don't want to watch, then um, <laughs> nobody's going out and dragging you in on a minibus, are they? <laughs> um, Maria says she likes the live streams. It's nice to interact. I do like being able to talk to you guys. Um, you know, rather than just do it all through the comments, it's nice to be able to talk to people. Elaine sold an immaculate vintage handbag from the... How did they trash a handbag? What did they do to a handbag? It's, it's knowing what you should box, really, isn't it? So, so a handbag, I would probably have bubble wrapped and put in a mailing bag. I don't know how you sent it, but I would have thought that a bubble wrap and mailing bag would be ample protection for a handbag. And then when you hear that they managed to um, to trash it, you think, perhaps it should have been in a box. You know, you, 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 I suppose we only learn from our mistakes, don't we? I'm certainly, um, certainly boxing anything over a certain value or whatever. I don't... Cause Supercat says that Hermes never turn up to collect... Her or he, I think that's a girl. I think you're female. I'm sorry, it's a very, very small thumbnail from where I'm looking at. Where are we? Sorry, lost you again. Um, Hermes never turned up to collect my parcels. I don't have collection, I do the drop off at the parcel shop, and my parcel shop guy is quite nice. So, um, Elaine, I thought it was packed in a hundred layers of bubble wrap and a bag and it was crushed. Was it kind of like a solid shape one, you know, a hard, a hard bag rather than a yeah, Lisa thinks her amazing on a mission to destroy as much as they can. Peter Ray's at car boot selling. I hope you do well, Peter. I hope you make a fortune. You have survived your mosh pit experience then. That's good. You didn't um didn't get crushed in the mosh pit at, at whatever. I can't remember what you said you were going to see. Something with an unusual name. El Shahara in Safara. Safari Sam. I'm making things up. Anyway, I'm glad you survived it. I hope you had a nice evening and I hope you do well at your car boot sale. And, um... We are, I think, about half an hour in, aren't we? Enter Shikari! That was it. I knew that. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. It's all much the same thing, I'm sure. <laughs> right. On that note of lunacy... Oh, Elaine says it had a hard bit at the bottom of the handbag. Lesson learned. My lovely buyer didn't ask for a refund. Happy with repair. I'm trying for comp. Yeah, keep on trying. You know, they, they do compensate when they when they bugger it up. Providing it's not ceramics. They don't care about ceramics. They basically say, we can't promise not to smash stuff. And I think it's a shame if they can't promise not to smash stuff. But So I'm going to go. Like I said, we, I've been rambling for over half an hour. I've got to take my daughter to work. So I hope you all have a lovely Sunday. Oh, hi, Jay Ben. I'm just going, I'm afraid. I hope you all have a, a lovely Sunday and... Um, the, and enjoy the rest of your weekend such as it is and I will speak to you all soon take care bye